Chris Johnson. Okay, let's keep looking. Spielman. No reason. It says... All right, this is the right date. Looks like her name was Lily Myers. I should try to get a hold of her family. Lily Myers, huh? Okay. I wonder what that kid is doing here all alone. The kid's kind of creepy. So is that emote. What the actual fuck, Mike? A little boy. Hey, kid. Hi, yourself. What are you doing? None of your business. Huh. I like her not here alone. Oh, she's a... I don't see her. You must be blind. I'll go look for your mom. Whatever. I shouldn't leave while that kid is alone. I'm not trying to leave, I'm trying to explore. No reason. Kid's mom might be in there. Kid's gone. Kid? Guess he found his mom. The grave is... I'm gonna find out what happened to you. I mean, I'll blame I Jason Kuntz and I'll blame you for subjecting me to it. Let's start here, and we're going to go through the the phone book, which is how you can tell that this was the 90s, because phone books were actually used. She's been dead for two decades. I could try... No... Hmm. Let's... I mean, guess we're while we're here, let's talk to Grandma about it. Maybe she'll know. I doubt it, though. I think I'm going to have to go back to the, the sheriff's office. Oh. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all. I found out. Oh, yes. Oh, how Oops. could I forget? Sorry. Sue, Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father. Jack, was it? No. He disappeared not long after Lily took her own life. Whoa, she killed herself. That's news to me. Oh, that girl had been troubled for years. Truman made an official statement later. It was no accident. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they tend to keep to themselves. I don't see a reason to ask. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. Also, now I can see the kitty emote now that I'm not looking at it. All right, found. All right. New address. Let's just randomly show up.
55 degrees. It doesn't belong to me. It's totally overflowing with cigarette butts. Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. Yes? Can I help you? I hope so. Joseph's girl. The one they sent away. Uh, I already yeah, don't like her. That's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? I had some questions about your daughter, Lily. Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Lily was precious, special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Goodbye. Wow. That lady's terrible. Now can I take it? It doesn't belong to me. No. Oh, gee, I would. I can see someone move. I can see. Gonna try again. <laughs> she looks. I'm still here and we enjoy. Won't you? I'm not leaving. Bite me. Huh. I deserve what you. I'm gonna keep annoying her. Stop it! Just go. I don't want to show her that. Hmm. Oh, that's how. Cigarette. Huh. Care to join me? Well, um, what brand? Coralie Center. You got take. Well, I suppose. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> oh my! Oh, now that was a good one. <laughs> you know what, Kathy? You're okay. Sorry for being such a cranky old bag before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Now, that's an understatement. Good thing I had my morning smoke, otherwise we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> oh, it's getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? Sure, let's go. Now, this here's my boy Nathan. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, big guy. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Very lifelike. Contrary to... I can smell something... It's Nathan. What you doing, big fella? Drawing. Oh yeah? What are you drawing? The nice red man. You mean Santa? No! The nice red man! Now what did I say about raising your voice at strangers? Sorry, Mama. I'll be nice. The red man is nice. Don't mind him. He gets so absorbed in his drawings thanks to that wild imagination of his. Just like his sister. Nice painting. Anything else to look at? Probably not, not really. So you wanted to ask me? Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him and the good he'd done for the other people around here. 
So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she, that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth, that she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm, all right. Anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? A week, maybe, at the most. Hmm. I don't need to ask. Mind telling I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was 10, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> on her 12th birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up and, well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. So, tell me. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. What do you do to support the two of you? Mm, a little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say... He didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her, started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now, been there for 15. Man, that must be rough for you. Oh, we're doing just fine without him, aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Usual okay, Bobby. Hi.